Metformin is a drug that has been registered for over 70 years and is primarily used in the treatment of diabetes. It's useful in diabetes because it's a metabolic agent. So all of its benefits in diabetes are focused on metabolic change. In diabetes, we know it improves blood glucose levels. It does this in a number of ways. It lowers blood glucose level by allowing our insulin to work better. This means blood glucose levels lower, but it also means that people can achieve some other benefits in their health when they have diabetes. For example, it causes a modest weight reduction. Metformin is also known to improve the gut microbiome. And more and more, we understand that metabolism and metabolic conditions like diabetes depend on the integrity of the gut microbiome. If our gut microbiome is angry and pro-inflammatory, metabolic conditions, whether it's diabetes or heart disease and other conditions like arthritis do worse. If our gut microbiome is happy and full of all the positive players amongst the bacterial species, then our inflammation is down and the whole body systems work a lot better. Metformin also has some other very interesting actions. For example, we use it a lot in polycystic ovary syndrome. This is a hormonal condition that's associated with an excess of male hormones, and it usually affects young girls from teen years all the way up to and after menopause. There it causes irregular menstrual cycles. It's the most common cause of infertility in Australia, but it also causes acne and hair growth. people with diabetes on metformin, they have less heart disease, they have less cancer, and they less frequently get dementia. Now these actions are being explored in studies. For example, we showed a few years ago that people with diabetes on metformin had 80% lower rates of developing dementia over a period of six years. So we're currently at St. Vincent's and the Garvin Institute conducting a study in people who have mild cognitive impairment to see if we can prevent cognitive decline, brain aging, and also prevent dementia. It's a three-year randomized placebo-controlled trial looking at metformin's actions on a number of different parameters in people who have cognitive impairment. We're interested in what the brain looks like, what the blood flow is like to the brain, a whole number of vascular measures like arterial stiffness, inflammation in the blood, and how metformin changes the gut microbiome, and also how metformin obviously changes metabolic processes that are pro-aging. Can we slow down brain aging using metformin is our main question.